Good morning, Soapbox Nation. Hey, thank you for joining me for episode 129 of Soapbox Daily. I'm your host, Matt Morgan, and uh, happy Monday to you. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope your weekend was relaxing and productive, whatever you did. And uh, first and foremost, hey, how was your integrity this weekend? Were you set in the positive change? Were you being the best you could be, where you doing the right things, kind of influencing other people. The domino effect, my friends. How was your integrity? Was it a good integrity weekend? Were you doing the right things? Either way, did you have fun? Did you come back relaxed and safe and everything else for a Monday? Hey, well, it's the beginning of a new week. Let's see what we can make the most of it. So today we're talking about are humans naturally lazy? And as always, I'm your host, Matt Morgan, taking you into another fun week of our podcasts and world events. We got some projects coming down the road, so I'd like you to start off with checking out themadmorgan.com. Yes, themadmorgan.com, which is going to have all our podcasts, links to everything, social media, all our projects coming down the road. We're, we're just brainstorming. We have great ideas, but that is kind of contrary to um, kind of the opposite of what we're talking about today. Are humans naturally lazy? And you know what? The truth is, the reality is, and here is the facts. Yes, we are. We are naturally lazy. It is inherent. It is something that science has proven that humans are inherently lazy, which maybe a trait left over from our ancestors' days of conserving energy for the next hunt. Yeah, very much so. Conserving energy has been essential for human survival as it allows us to be more efficient in searching for food and shelter and competing for sexual partners and avoiding predators, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's just a natural thing. But the thing is, though, is that we've gotten to the point where we're not about the survival anymore. And we still have this laziness to us, unfortunately. It's still in there, genetically encoded. But now we're relying on technology because we're lazy. We want to become rich so we can get other people to do our work for us, you know, because we're lazy. And there's a time and place for this. You have to fight back that those instincts that we no longer need anymore, like the inherited stuff that's genetically in us to survive because we are where we're at. You can't always blame nature. There is a good portion of nurture that can overcome the natural part of things. Can't just stop blaming nature. That's a, that's a cop out. That's an excuse. There's, you can be productive. You can not be lazy. You can learn to do other stuff. So something I want you to think about today when, you know, don't get me wrong. We all want to have that laziness moment. We all want to sit back and do nothing and just be a couch potato and veg and everything else. But the only way you're going to get stuff done is if you get off the couch and you actually go out and do stuff. Now, actually, you don't even have to go out and do stuff. You have the advantage advantage of technology where you can still be productive, still do productive things in your life by sitting at home, but keep active, keep going, keep moving, keep being productive on some level or another. Stop blaming nature. Start blaming yourself for not being motivated to get out and actually get the stuff done. I'm just saying, I know it's the beginning of a new week and we always wish the weekend could go longer. I know I do. I wish I had a five day work uh, sorry, I wish I had a five day weekend and a two day work week. Unfortunately, it's not the way it is, it's unless you manage to get one of those sweet positions, but they're far and few between. So, my message today is hey, keep productive because you can get where you want in life. You can be anything you want in life. You can achieve anything you want in life, but you got to just do it. All right, I'm not going to draw this out today. Yes, our humans not so lazy. This is true. Genetically and naturally, we are wired to be lazy, but you don't have to be. Beat the odds, my friends. Beat the odds you can do better than that i'm gonna wrap this up hey have a marvelous monday moving forward i hope you have a marvelous week i'm your host mad morgan thank you for tuning in for episode 129 of soapbox daily and i will see you next episode